I'm back with my robe, guys. I'm back with the robe. I do have the top underneath, by the way, if you think I'm, I'm naked under this. No, it don't work like this in this house. Hey, guys, welcome back to another video. So, lots of noise. Let's start again. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, today I'm going to be trying out the famous turmeric DIY face mask that I feel like everyone and their mums and their mums' mums have tried out already. But yeah, I will be trying out this mask. I've already made it and I will jump on to show you guys how I made it. Um, I do kind of wing my ingredients. Not necessarily with this one, but I do like my egg hair mask, which I will link in the info box. I also like this avocado face mask that I like to use for my face, but I've never tried turmeric because I always thought it would stain my face. But my mum does this all the time. Like, she's always done this and her skin looks amazing. Like, she's in her 50s and her skin looks better than mine, to be honest. She has, like, no pores and her skin skin is just so even she has no pigmentation no under eye circles like I don't even know how she does it but she does wear this face mask this is the only thing she does on her face I've seen it everywhere on Instagram like from Farrah Dakai I did use yogurt with my mask today you don't have to you can use milk um yogurt is good just for like antibacterial just to keep your clean face clean so if you have like acne or irritated skin eczema flaky irritated skin then yogurt will be a really good idea to put in the mask but then if you don't want the yogurt you can totally go for milk also if you want to add some hydration to it just feel free to add some oil in it as well i haven't done that because i just want this to really even out my skin tone i already put oil afterwards so i thought today let me just skip the oil also really been wanting to try it because apparently turmeric is a natural ingredient that helps to even out your skin tone um minimize pores which i've had lately here it helps to even out like your skin tone diminish like pigmentation i don't know if i've said that already um and it also helps to just overall brighten get rid of like dark spots and things like that so that just instantly sounds really good to me i love products that help to even out skin tone because i have like even skin around here so i will be focusing a lot around my mouth but yeah i'm going to stop rambling and we'll jump into how i made the mask so the first thing that you're going to need is some gram flour i got mine from my corner shop I've actually read that ground flour is really good at fighting off infection in case you have acne. It's also a really good a natural exfoliator and it also helps to reduce oiliness on the skin. Next you're going to need some clear honey, any honey would do, and some turmeric powder and some natural yogurt. I will write the benefits of each product in the info box in case you guys are interested but right now I'm using two tablespoons of ground flour, two tablespoons of yogurt and try not to be as messy as I am, I'm just so clumsy. And then I do roughly two tablespoons or lower of honey and then one teaspoon of turmeric powder and just mix it all up and it's just super easy guys, literally you have all these ingredients at home, the ground flour was at the corner shop can use flour in case you don't have ground flour you don't have access to it anyways it should look like a nice pasty consistency like this and i kid you not i did not realize my sister's face was there till right now but here's some funny footage of my sister trying to mash up some potatoes <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to be putting the mask on. I am using this brush from Vanity Planet. This is the liquid foundation brush, but I like to use it for um, my mask because it has these synthetic hairs. Um, I have a coupon code for my Vanity uh, Planet brushes. They're actually really good. You get a full set, which is like normally like £70, $70, and you get it for like $20, which is a huge deal. Um, you do pay customs if you're in the UK, but I love the brush. Like I always, I'm always using their brushes. Go on to putting it on.
finished applying the mask and I do have a ton left. My mum my mom is actually going to use some of it. But I'm also going to put the rest in a pot and put it in the fridge and keep it for future use. You can use this, I would say, like once a week from what I've read online. In terms of staining, sometimes, yeah, my mum, when she does it, she has like a slight yellow tint to her skin. But I'm not really worried about the staining because I do wear makeup most of the time. I did also put a small amount of turmeric to the amount of product I had in this bowl. So I did use one teaspoon of turmeric in this and I think that's a good amount of product. It's not too much and it's not heavily yellow. I don't think this would stain me. But we'll see afterwards. But I really, really like the way this is going on my skin. It stays put, doesn't dribble. Um, I'm really happy with the measurements I, I decided to use. And I feel that the gram flower helped the consistency of it just to help it stick to the skin. I don't know if it has any benefits, but I will leave it in the info box if there are. But yeah, I am going to leave this on for... I think I'm going to leave it on for 25 minutes. I, think I am just setting my timer to 25. I am going to... What am I going to do? I don't even know what I'm going to do. But anyways, I'll come back later on and see how it looks then. Okay, so it's been well over 25 minutes and my feel, my face feels kind of tight. Some bits are wet, so just mind that. It's just because it's a bit thicker than other areas. But I think this is a good amount of time. Um, so what I'm going to do, apparently I've read that you should like scrub it in. Right, I'm gonna wash my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, there is a, my skin looks like overall brighter. That's the only thing I could say. And my skin feels super, super soft because when I was washing my face, you kind of have to rub it in and it feels like an exfoliator because the little grains and the powders kind of exfoliate your skin. So the thing where you do like rubbing it when it's dry, I feel like that's just pointless. You don't need to do that because you're doing it anyways when you're washing it off. Obviously this is a skincare experience so I can't say like off the bat if it works or not but my skin does feel really soft. It doesn't feel dry even though I've just washed it. Normally my skin feels super tight but it feels really nice right now and it just has this, has this brighter appearance to it. Um, especially in my chin for some reason it looks like greyish almost. I can't tell you how my skin feels soft right now. I'm going to go put some moisturiser on. As the weeks go along, I'll probably update the info box if I can. I think it does work because my mum does it and her skin looks amazing. So that's why I thought I'd just try and incorporate it into my skincare regimen. Because, it, I don't know, it's just so so simple, so cheap and you have the ingredients at home anyways. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this testing video. And if you want to see more DIY videos, let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please give this video a big, big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. But yeah, I hope you guys will have a lovely weekend. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.